having conversations with our elderly parents about caregiving, assisted living, is difficult. <laughs> In fact, most people put up a huge wall and say, I don't even want to talk about it. All right. So what are the ways, what are the keys to having these types of difficult conversations? Well, I just read a book on how to have difficult conversations. You know, there's lots of political conversations that are difficult. There's lots of uh, vaccine, you know, related things. And I think senior care fits right into the categories of those because people aren't always willing to change their opinion about things. Here are the three big takeaways that I got from reading this book. And I'll, I'll leave a link to the book below if you're interested in going into more detail. And I, I recommend it. The first step is to make sure that you're not adversarial to the person you're having the conversation with. So what does that mean? It means being on the same team. You want to be a partner. You want to find out what their wishes are and you want to be on the same page as doing this. So this has a, this isn't something that you're going to come in, have a conversation and try to convince somebody to say, you now agree that you need a caregiver or you now agree that you need to move into assisted living. What this is, is to uh, start establishing rapport and trust with your parent. The second step is kind of building on that by listening more than you're talking. So instead of just hammering away and, and, and stating what you want, you're really trying to hear what they want, what their motivation is, you're not trying to sell them on what you think is the best thing. You're really truly trying to find and understand what their perspective is. And do they have all the information? Oftentimes they don't. So most of us, we don't want to be a burden on our kids. Most of us want to keep our freedom. Most of us don't want to spend a lot of money. So all these, all these elements are, are within this category of listening more, but talking less. And then the last one that I really find is a, is a takeaway is that you have a real opportunity as a team with your parent to learn more. And when I say learn more is learn more about what's probably going to happen in the next five to 10 years. Uh, what is their health like? Can, can you learn more about their health? Can you learn about what the caregiving options are? Is it fair for them to ask you? to sacrifice maybe part of your career or your, your family time to help them out. Maybe there's a portion of your time that you can sacrifice, but can you sacrifice as much as they're going to need? There are costs to caregiving. Learning about what it costs for an in-home caregiver if you're going to hire somebody. Uh, finding out about what it costs for assisted living. What assisted living is. I mean, many people go around thinking, I never want to be in assisted living. Assisted living has been created with the senior in mind. It, it's created with food elements, an apartment, things like that. It's not an old age home or a, a nursing home. This is a community that has events, that has activities, that have uh, people that are in the similar age group. These are, these are things that have been designed for uh, the elderly person uh, with them in mind. All these different things are really good to talk about, but just also know you have to have patience and get out of a conversation. If it's, if it's going south and you could feel it going quick, you know, hang back, don't say much, table it, come back to it later, right? Come back to it in a couple days. Be patient and remember Rome wasn't built in a day, all right? So, Good luck. I'm going to leave the link down below if you want to check out that book on Amazon. But mostly I want to tell you that if you are looking at any of these things, you're trying to learn together and get some information about caregiving or assisted living, I'm your guy. You can always give me a call. All right. Talk to you soon.